Alright, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, and double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And honors to you, brothers out there on the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, just going to go into a session that, um, dealing with these imaginations and false um, doctrines, strongholds that be um, popping up on the comment board. Lord will, this will be the first one I'll deal with. And um, so let's just read. It's from a guy named Super Force. <laughs> super, yeah, Super Force, more real, right? Yeah, by the way, I got the brother Ricard Makapash here um, with me. Um, and this is why I don't follow GMS. Yeah, well, we know why you don't follow GMS, but <laughs> um, shake my head. They still think the mark of the beast is a microchip, which that's a heavy demon that's out there right now. A lot of scoffers, which I, I got another score for. A lot of scoffers are popping up, and they're um, basically come up and coming up against the truth that the mark of the beast is the microchip, which shows that we're in that time. That's Satan. Everything spiritual. That's the spiritual demon Satan sowing that um, seed of doubt out there for the, the those who I wouldn't say are weak in the faith, or those who don't have the faith. Okay, those that are going to be caught out there. They're going to have that doubt in their mind. They're going to be caught out there. And, Satan's doing his job, but it's our job to um, destroy them lies in the sight of the elect so that the elect may receive it. So they got their super farce. You got your job to do, whether you're paid, because you know a lot of these guys are paid agents, a lot of them are um, Jesuit priests, or you could just be a, a, um, a, a doing a, a one time satanic cameo for your father Satan, whatever the case may be. You know, you keep doing what you, you're doing and we're going to keep doing what we do, man. All right. Another thing is the name of the Lord. Okay. The na guys are coming up against the name of the Lord being um being uh, uh, uplifted and, and being Yahweh in the name of his son being Yahweh Shai. So, hey, we, we you know, but we're going to continue to break down them strongholds in the sight of the elect. Now, it says that he said the chances of a white person being an Israelite are so low it would take a lot of research right and a DNA test for them to prove to prove they have the E1B1A blood haploid group of Bantu Semitic people passed down by the father seed now first things first you got guys that try and delve into the realm of scientific study biology so forth and they get lost because they don't have the mind for it they don't know how to discern or really break down a scientific uh, paper or scientific evidence and withdraw from that what is fact and what is an inference based upon limited data and variables okay and this is the problem you got facts, empirical facts, <laughs> and then you got inference, which is made based upon limited information and exclusion of variables. Okay? And if you don't understand that, when you go into the realm of science, Esau's gonna get you, man. <laughs> Esau's gonna get you. You're gonna get gut, especially when it comes to DNA. And especially even more so when it comes to ancestry and DNA because ancestry and DNA is not an exact science it requires uh, uh, inference it requires the exclusion of variables It's based upon limited information which is why we don't go on no DNA okay first of all now he mentioned the Bantu Semitic people. Now we acknowledge that a lot of the tribes in Africa, which we know predominantly are Israelites, are classed as Bantu peoples. That doesn't necessarily mean that every tribe of people in Africa who have been designated the um, prefix of being a Bantu is an Israelite. Okay, let's get that one thing straight. Okay. We acknowledge a lot of the tribes that are called Bantu or Israelites, 
but being called a Bantu doesn't necessarily mean that your tribe and your people are Israelites. It just means you were related to them either by language or by region. Let's get that one thing straight. Okay, because Israel was mingled in there among them Hamites. So certain times they would share the same language and, 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 and then they would be grouped together. Okay, that's one thing. Now he's talking about this E1, B1A haploid group, which is true that according to according to Esau's research on those peoples over there that are designated as Bantu people there is a, a, a predominance of the E1B1A blood haploid group a predominance this does not prove that that group is exclusive to Israelites and if you have that you're an Israelite and if you don't have it you're not an Israelite that's called an inference based upon limited information and exclusion of the variables. All right, so let's jump to uh, where is it? Here we go. If you go to the Wikipedia, which deals with this, and this is why a lot of guys they get caught out when they go into this stuff because you got loads of little code words and all this stuff. But really, it's very simple. You just have to look at the information and look at what ha what is the variable, okay? Where have they excluded the variables? And I'm going to show you that that is all madness. And that's why this thing ain't got nothing to do with DNA. It's all to do with the scriptures and the spirit of the Lord. This is the Lord's work. This work is being done through the spirit. It's not being done by the unction of men. By the ways of men. By the thoughts of men. Even though the Lord is using men in a capacity to get the work done. Okay, we are not the ones at the end of the day when the time comes that's going to gather oh you're an Israelite you're not no that's going to be done by Yahweh Shai and when when Yahweh Shai comes he's not going to be um, asking you to pull out a, 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 um, a, a birth records or you're not going to be taking a blood test to get onto them chariots okay I'm pretty sure the heavenly father has his own records in the heavens and doesn't need to do a DNA test to know your seed. Okay. DNA stuff that Esau likes to talk about, man. She doesn't have a true understanding of it, anyhow. That's right. You know, he'll admit. Well, certain guys will admit that they don't have a true understanding of it. To, you know, bring a premise and say, well, this is what it is, is you know, terrible. Yep. That's not facts okay <laughs> right so let's read this uh blah 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 you can read through this yourself and just get straight to the point okay it is often found in african males and their descendants and it's heritably passed in lineage from father to son okay the de geneticists study these variants in populations to find the evolutionary lineage blah 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 okay no mention of whether it can come about through mutation no, no, you know, you know, it could, you know, these things happen in DNA. But anyway, it says, um, you got the two types, then the EV38, and has two basal branches, EM329, formerly E1B1C, and EM2, formerly E1B1A. The former is almost exclusively found in Ethiopia. Okay, that's just what you know they're saying. The EM2 branches are predominantly lineage in uh, um, in West Africa, Central Africa, South Africa, and the southern parts of Eastern Africa, as well as small uh, smaller frequencies in North Africa. Okay, which I can I can tell straight away a lot of Hamites in there, but you know these guys, you know, <laughs> you know they're not going to take that into context. And even when you go to the distribution, now this is what I want to show you. This is why you got to stick to the scriptures, right? and trust in the spirit of the Lord and what's been revealed through the prophets before you start trying to jump into the DNA the study of DNA like like you're on some kind of level all right now it says distribution EV38 reaches frequencies of over 80% in many parts of West Africa Central Africa blah 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 and you can see that here yes of course we do see that the Gar which we know that a lot of them Gar are Israelites I personally know a lot of Gar people they're pretty much a branch that came out of Ghana they now live in Nigeria the Yoruba we know a lot of them Yoruba are um, 
uh, uh, Israelites is Yoruba's in the camp. Um, you got the Mandinka, a lot of the Senegalese people are Israelites. So we can accept that. But does that mean that? Does that prove that every every person would? No, it doesn't prove that. It could be inferred if you were to exclude the the, the variables and exclude uh, uh, um, uh, the, the fact that you got a limited sample. You could jump on that, but that's not what we're here to do. Then it shows you how it's, it's less in um, Ethiopia, blah, 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 blah. Now, what I want to show you here is, do we not know that the, um, the peoples of North, Central, and South America are Israelites? We know this for a fact. We know it based upon biblical prophecy. We know this based upon the history recorded in the scriptures. And... Um, a, a mass of other uh, historical evidence to show that yes the the um taino indians were the, the uh, israelites the the Cub cubans the north american indians the the gadites we we know this to be a fact now this is where your premise falls on its face so if, if you're saying you have to be an e1 b1 whatever the hell is to be an israelite then explain how even in Cuba, only 9.8% of people have that. In in the Domini among the Dominicans, 7.69%. Among the Puerto Ricans, 19.23%. You see? So straight away, I know that this is madness. This ain't got nothing to do with whether you're an Israelite or not. Point blank, period. Just based upon that alone. Now, another thing is... In order for you to, to to unequivocally say that this E1B1A, right, is exclusive to Israelites, you will have to have the DNA sample from all the patriarchs, from all the different nations. So you need a DNA sample from Jacob. You need a DNA sample from uh, uh, um, Esau himself. You need a DNA sample from Ammon. You know the DNA sample from Moab. You need a DNA sample from all the patriots of the different nations to conclude that none of those other men had that. You see how you 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 need information? That information, that variable has been excluded and it's vital information. Therefore, you cannot say 100% this is the case. You have a lack of information, man. You don't even know if one guy can mutate and produce this this haploid group and then his rest of his descendants can have it and the ones before him didn't have it you don't know nobody knows this dna ancestry bullshit is nothing but a scam that the so-called white man uses to get stupid ass people to pay him 500 dollars to guess at his ancestry it is a scam and it's not scientifically accurate because it's based upon limited information and the exclusion of information and variables. And they know this. They just fool you people who are laymen and don't understand how scientific research works. Then you're going to come on the comment board and be stupid enough to say that you're going to have to do a DNA test and have that haploid group to prove you're an Israelite. Oh, that's it. That should have been in the scriptures then. Well, what the hell are we? What the hell are we doing out there teaching the gospel for? You should have just been like, yo, you know, withdraw a pint of blood from the man. And if that's madness, man. Okay. So that's one thing. Now, now, now um. He said, if you research the table of nations and look under the names on the Japheth, you'll see all the Indo-European tribes that are descendants of Japheth. First and foremost, Japheth was the original inhabitant of Europe. This is true. Okay. So what they've done is, any peoples or tribes which were in Europe for the last <laughs> two, three thousand years, they have applied them to this list. Which is again ignorant of the variables, the fact, and the variable is called migration, immigration. 
the same peoples have not lived in Europe consistently for the same for the, for the period of three thousand years. Or by themselves. Either. Or by themselves. So again, this is where the scripture says the simple believeth every word. Okay, the the so-called white man is not Japheth. Japheth no longer rules in the land of Europe. He no longer resides in the land of Europe. He was killed out and forced out of Europe a long time ago and he now resides in Oceania. Okay. At different times Esau had the predominance in Europe and Jake had predominance in Europe i.e. the Dark Ages which is what I go into in the video which is historical facts. Okay. Not this DNA E1B1 garbage. Okay, now let's continue on into these scriptures, man. It, you see, this has all got to stop, man. The Lord's got to come back, man, because this is all madness. Okay, this is 1 Timothy 1 and 4. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions. Because let's get this one straight. If you're claiming you believe in the New Testament and you're claiming you are a Hebrew Israelite and you... Which I don't know if this guy um, is into that, but you got guys who are um, pretty much are like him anyway, because they don't want to accept the fact that you're gonna have Israelites that look like so-called white people or look like Moabites, which is fact, which is empirical, which can be proven with a simple Google search on many a celebrity who've laid down with a so-called white woman and their children. There's umpteen pictures of their children. And you can see that their children resemble heathens. So we have actual empirical evidence to prove our premise. You know, like, it's, I don't... It, it, anyway, the fact of the matter is that when Paul was going out with the gospel, teaching the gospel among the Hellene, among the Gentiles, he wasn't asking the guy to do a DNA test. And he wasn't asking the guy to give him the full list of his... Uh, uh, fathers all the way back to Jacob Paul was moving in the spirit because he trusted in the spirit man and he trusted in the word of the Lord that's why he said to Timothy this neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies okay we're going to sit there and debate oh, this guy's grandfather, great grandfather blah 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 and, and go, on, go on about you know get to the if that's the case uh, most guys won't receive the gospel they won't be saved they won't you know what I'm saying so what are you talking about let the Lord do the work trust in the spirit this thing is about trusting in the word of the Heavenly Father that the Lord is gonna do what he said he's gonna do not trusting in your own flesh and you're trying to reassure yourself according to carnal, carnal means there's a point where you got to trust in the spirit yeah, you might get into a bit of history and a, th those are all good things. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the spirit. It says, which minister questions like this guy. Rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. Faith. So do. Let's move on. This is Matthew 20 and 19. And this is why this was written. Matthew 20 and 9. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. We got When we go out there and we teach the gospel, we teach in the gospel pretty much fishing among all people predominantly the people on the 12 tribe sign first and foremost because we we know uh, according to the spirit definitely that they're um, Israelites but we also know that they're Israelites also scattered among the nations so we got the gospel has to go out to them too point blank period that's why the scriptures teach all nations Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That, that ain't talking about an actual heathen because a heathen ain't going to receive the Spirit. A heathen ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost. He's not going to receive the Word. You know why he's not going to receive the Word? Because Yahweh Ba Sham Shai is the one that controls whether you receive the dispensation of the faith or not. Whether you receive the Spirit or truth or not. It is not down to DNA <laughs> and it's not down to to you to to uh, uh, me or a any man to to actually make a man receive this gospel and have faith that is completely spiritual 
We are just tools, mouthpieces in the foolishness of preaching to push a vibration and that vibration is going to be uh, um, received by specified people that the Lord has chosen from the beginning of the earth. That's what we're here to do. A lot of these guys out here that's calling themselves Israelites, they're trying to put themselves in the top uh, uh, um, room. Niggas, stay in your station. Stay in your position and do what, you, what you're what you meant to do and let the Lord worry about the rest. Hey, like, <laughs> you, know, you remember that movie, Doom? We kill them all and let God sort them out. Well, I ain't saying we're going to kill them all, but I'm just saying, man, the Lord, let the God, let the Most High sort it out, goddamn. I'm going to tell you, the, the angels got their part to play in all that, man. That's right. This, you know? Well, the angels are the ones that actually go and open up a man's mind right. through, through Yahweh Shai to take that block off a man's mind to receive this truth. Everyone else is blinded. So we don't have the power to do that. We don't. And it's not down to us. We can't. If, you, if, yeah. if we had the power, man, we'd be out here already. But guys would be getting, you know, the ain't of the elect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it Matthew 20 and 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I will be with you always, even unto the end of the world, which we're, we're approaching the end of the world right now. And the Lord is still here controlling the, this this business he's amongst us the spirit of the lord okay um this is um this is a uh, uh, first corinthians let's start um 2 and 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that we might know the things that are freely given to us of god and that's the spiritual understanding of these scriptures man spiritual discernment really tapping into the spiritual google man because sometimes the Lord can reveal something to you in the spirit, man. Like you might look at a guy and the spirit reveals to you he's an Israelite. But you might look at another guy and you're like, I ain't sure. Like, he could be, uh, he, you know. But hey, it's in the spirit if he is. But then you might look at a guy. Look, that dude, the spirit is telling you this dude's a straight up Edomite, man. Or this dude's a straight up devil. That's all spiritually discerned. That's Because we're tools for the Heavenly Father, man. Okay. We trust in the spirit. Okay, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not of the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Because a lot of guys, they think that uh, Israel is going to be recovered based upon you going to go and it's, it's like, and, and literally you're going to pinpoint every Israelite and he, he going, you're going to pinpoint his lineage so you can be sure based upon what you're reading in his record that he's an Israelite. No, 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 no. Where's the faith? No, it doesn't work like that, man. That's man's wisdom, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Okay, what does the Holy Ghost teach us? That, guess what, man? This, the gathering of Israel is through the foolishness of speech. Okay, the, the, through the, through the, the, the dispensation of faith. As it is written in the scriptures, man, that they got, the, the elect of Israel are going to be sanctified, um, um, sanctification of the spirit through belief of the truth. So when we teach the truth, which we hear a great meals on the teaching the truth, the 100% truth, the right way. We have faith that only the elect are going to receive that and hold it. And those only those elect are going to be beamed up into the chariot, as the scriptures have said. We're not worried about no Edomite getting beamed up into a chariot, man. Maybe he's going to fake his blood sample. <laughs> you know, Edomite, he's going to fake his blood. He's going he gonna to get a blood sample from Michael Jordan. Yo, 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 you know? It don't work like that, my man. Okay? You can't falsify nothing with the Heavenly Father, okay? It says, Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto them. It's foolishness for them to believe that uh, um, you're going to get an Israelite that looks like a so-called white man among the Edomites. And, and he's going to receive... The, the, the truth and be accepted back into the fold without having some kind of um DNA proof you know well guess what that might be foolishness onto some of you people but to me that's that shows me the power of the heavenly father that shows me the power of the spirit that shows me the power of he who speaks and it comes to pass is it not written that the Israel will be gathered together by the word but you guys are acting like it ain't the word that's going to gather Israel together. You going on like it's you. Like you going to do some, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, some, what's, his name? what's his name again, man? Indiana Jones type shit. 
you know, every every person who claims to be an Israelite, we just got to go into some hardcore research through the, the libraries of con Congress to the slave records, <laughs> break into the damn uh, 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 White House and find some secret documents on them. You know, what's wrong with you cats, man? <laughs> This is what the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. Okay, which the spirit of God is the spirit of knowledge, man. The Lord knows, man. Lord knows. For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Okay. Alright, and this is Matthew 22 and 29, talking about it's a, there's a low chance. We ain't dealing with chances. We're, the elect are going to be sealed. Isn't, that's 100%. Okay, there's not no chance. Oh, this is there's a low chance you're an Israelite, so we gotta go through some ex, some extensive uh, uh, research and DNA tests instead of just trusting in the spirit. Yeah, this guy, spirit's telling me, yeah, man, this guy Israelite, man. Yo, he's received the word. Yeah, it's good. You know, gotta work with him. Let the most side. So if he ain't right, if he ain't right, the Lord's gonna deal with him. My job is to just teach the gospel. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> it's not a difficult job because it's in this, in this part of the thing. Shit ain't right? hard. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, you got to speak the word. Brother hears it. You know, he's down. That's it. That's it. Then, you then, just, then we going to find out if he's going to get Yeah, you, dis <laughs> you discern him. And if the spirit rise up and say, this guy, he is not right, then he ain't right. You know, you get guys that are Israelites that come in. They're going to come in and then they get kicked out or they fall out. You don't know. But you know, <laughs> we're going to make it to the end or not. <laughs> but that, the Lord did that. That's why we trust in the Lord. Ain't no two thirds no, going to make it. I, you know, I can't make him make it. I can't make myself make it. It's a spiritual thing. You guys want to make it carnal like you're in control. You're not in control of a damn thing, ultimately. So you should really chill on that madness. Okay. Yahweh shall answer the same thing. You do err, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. Okay, I believe somewhere down the line this guy made some kind of. Okay, it wasn't him. It was another guy. He, another guy that was going in. I feel it's another score for I got to deal with, man. Making some some uh, mad statements, man. Okay, this is madness, man. There's a low chance. This thing, listen, man. This thing ain't carnal. It's spiritual, man. This is a spiritual work being done through the word of the heavenly Father by the by, by the supreme being, man. Okay, he got this. Okay, I, I think we can we can um, trust in that. Okay, all right. We ain't gotta go back and double check the Moses' work. All right. If the Lord, if any guy ain't right, the Lord ain't gonna accept him. Simple. Where's his, uh... Right, um, 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. <laughs> That's a beautiful scripture. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. That's all I need to know. <laughs> okay, let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity, man. If you're of the elect, you're going to receive this word. You're going to receive the name of the Lord and you're going to depart from iniquity and faith. And that's it, man. What you look like is irrelevant, man. That's not my business. That's the fullness of the gospel. Now, if you do look like an Edomite, the chances are you are an Edomite. But we're not... <laughs> that doesn't matter when it comes to the elect, man. This isn't about chances. This is about just teaching the gospel and fishing for the elect. All right? And we gotta trust that the Lord is gonna do what He said He's gonna do. It's not, we're not the guy, we're not the guardians of the the chariots of the heavenly Father, man. I'm not a doorman to the chariots, man. ID, and that's why Paul said this because you had, I'm, I'm guaranteed now. Guys might say I'm going off, but I can guarantee you they were people in the Church of Rome that looked like Edomites. I can guarantee it. You know why I can guarantee it? Because you, them Jakes spent, um, how many years was it? I think it was over 200 years, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, um, uh, you can easily find out. Was it the third, isn't it? All 
Alright, where is that? 215 BC. So these guys spent 200 years among different nations and Edomites. And if you're going to tell me in that space of time when I can see that the when was the wind rush period? The wind rush period was. The wind rush period over here in Britain was 1948. It's 2016 now, right? And you got a whole heap of Benjamites in the UK that look like white boys. That's that's 60 years, because they would they would their father dealt with white women and they grew up and dealt with white women. So you telling me over 200 years? years of them living in um rome and greece and all these places that every single um uh, um uh, israelite that was in rome looked like a negro no okay and how the hell did paul know they weren't hamites because <laughs> you would have you would have had uh, certain hamites because um rome 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 also ruled over north africa so you telling me no no actual Hamites were in Rome? But so how did he discern between the Hamites and the and the Israelites? Well, let's um let's read the scriptures. <laughs> All right. Romans eight and and fourteen. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, <laughs> they are the sons of God. And guys just can't get that. This is what it comes down to, the spirit of the Lord, leading, calling. Alright? The church of Rome, man, them guys didn't have records going back. Some of them guys would have been, you gotta understand, you had the Israelites that were, 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 were actually taken into the, the Greek um, regions as slaves, as children, as ch child slaves, man. They didn't really know nothing. They didn't know nothing man, they, them dudes didn't know nothing about where they came from, they were just slaves. Just like, just, just like Negroes in America, you would at a point where if Esau never told them, they wouldn't know nothing about Africa or no boat, they just knew they were born and they're getting whipped. And they're a nigger. You had guys that were in Greek that actually just thought, they didn't know where they came from, they knew what they looked like, but they could that could have been from anywhere. As far as they were concerned, they were Greeks, but some of them guys received the spirit and they received the calling of, of the Lord and they ca they came back. That's why guys back then had a problem with what Paul was doing because they couldn't understand the workings of the spirit, man. And what was going on wasn't of man, it was of the heavenly father and his son, man, which is knowledgeable. Okay. So you, sir, <laughs> super force, you are in error. You're not a biologist, okay? <laughs> and you're obviously not a man of the Lord, man. <laughs> Alright, so cut that DNA shit out, okay? The men of the Lord, we don't endorse that DNA test bullshit, okay? We don't endorse that at all, okay? That is not facts, that's conjecture, and it's overruled. And it's a, you wasted your time. You wasted your time. Alright, so with that, we're going to say Shalom. <laughs>